Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, I really, really wanted to sit down and just chat about my favorite handbag picks for this spring from each brand. And I literally was yesterday just sitting down and checking all the websites. I went to Dior, Fendi, Louis Vuitton, also things from my own closet that I just want to pull out more during this spring. But something that I do have to say is that I am really, really excited to start pulling out the dresses, the colorful bags. I know that I'm gonna miss the coats in like a few weeks. It always happens to me when it's fall and winter, I just want the dresses and spring and summer clothing and during the summer when I'm over the heat I just want to go back to fall and winter fashion so this is a very regular thing for me I always do this in case anyone was looking for inspiration for a new bag or maybe like me I'm not really looking into buying anything but more seeing what's out there and what people are using a lot and why I already have that I'm gonna be pulling out of my closet so I can tell you for now a lot of pinks blues pastels I'm so excited to start seeing colors and I'm definitely very excited to start bringing out my colorful bags and changing things out a little bit so this list will have no order in particular I'm just gonna pop out the websites and show you the bags that I love from the latest collections I do have to say I've been having kind of a crush and the love with Dior so it's the one that I want to start with I have my computer over here and I just wanted to open the websites and talk about these bags so one of the first bags that I want to talk about I have to say that when it came out I was not very impressed with it it's kind of one of those bags that you see it and you're like okay this is not nice I wouldn't get out of the way to get it but I do like this style I think it's a cute bag so this happened to me when I saw this bag in black I think it was in London I am not a pink person like I have one pink bag because I just feel like pink sometimes can be a color that is hard to pair with my own wardrobe however since my obsession with green and blue in the past couple of years I've learned that you can just implement it here and there in a smarter way and for some reason right now I'm having kind of a crush with pink don't ask me why I also don't understand it. I don't know if it's just this bag in particular and the Dejoy too. I think it has to do a lot with the fact that this is Dior. For me, Dior is a super feminine brand and pink works very well with their bags. As for example, Hermes, as much as I love the pink bags like Rose Confetti, I think it's beautiful and Rose Akira on the Birkin, especially the smaller sizes. I think it's really, really cute, but I think it's easier to picture myself with a pink Dior bag than a pink Birkin if it makes sense. However, besides pink, I do still have a massive crush on yellow. I saw a few years ago in New York a uh, Lady Dior in this pastel yellow and I passed on it. I regretted it so, so much because after that, I tried to find it and I just couldn't. They would always tell me that it was a past season. So I just wanted to encourage anyone that really likes yellow, especially pastel yellow, because for me, mustard is just not what I'm looking for and it has to be just the right shade. This is the perfect shade. I absolutely love it and I know that many people don't like the Dejoy. I used to not like the Dejoy that much, but when it comes to the mini sizes, it just works so well. And they also have it in this lilac color that is beautiful. So for me, mini bags are really, really good with colors and the bigger bags, I tend to get them in more neutrals. I think right now I'm in the stage where I just want to venture more into colors with bags. And if you're starting into it, I think minis are the best way to go. And these ones are so cute and beautiful. So if you're into a color and you want to test it out, I think this could be a very very good option and if you don't want to go for a DJ and you want to go for the regular ABC this pastel blue is to die for I think it's beautiful out of all of the colors that I can see that it's available right now this shade of blue for me it's the most beautiful but if you want to go for something a little bit more out there this one screams to me spring in such a way it's so beautiful I actually saw this one in person and another one that I couldn't find on the website but I'm gonna show you a picture this is the reason that I have such a crush on Dior right now now, like I've been saying in the past couple of videos, I've been really trying to find new brands and new things that I like, trying new styles and designs and overall just brands that I have never bought from. And when I was in Paris, I actually had the opportunity to finally go and see some of these bags in person. And this one is the Diane bag from Joseph Duclos. Apologies in advance if I'm mispronouncing the name. You actually don't see a lot of these bags out there, which is quite the opposite from, for example, the Lady Dior that it's quite a well-known bag. So the Diane bag, I saw it. I fell in love with it. It's definitely something that I will put on my wish list, especially on their heritage leathers. It's such a beautiful, well-crafted and versatile handbag. It reminds me a lot of the Trendy CC, but with such a different vibe. It's very, very quiet. You don't really know which brand it is unless you kind of know. And the gold band that goes along the bag is literally my favorite detail that it has. And it's inspired by the Hunting Goddess. This brand is 
absolutely amazing and the quality is there. Yes, the price point is quite high, but it has a reason. You have plenty of colors to choose from and they have other styles of bags. So if you ever go to Paris, I would suggest you to stop at their store. I really, really fell in love with this one and I think many people would love it too. Now, when it comes to Chanel, I haven't really been on the loop of all the new collections and everything that has been released, but I went to the store and I found this pink tweed mini top handle that I've never been a massive fan of the mini top handle, but this one, I did didn't buy it for many reasons. One of them is that I already have a pink mini, which is right here. This one is more than enough. They have a very similar vibe, but if I didn't already have this one, I would have been so more tempted to buy that other bag. This is a bag that I don't really use year round. I tend to use it more during the summer or spring. It's a mini, so it's easier to cross it and it just looks really, really cute with dresses and summery outfits. Whereas I have a really hard time during fall and winter to pair a pink bag. So I don't know, this is probably only in my head because I don't have a hard time with blue and green but yes with pink but this tweed mini when I saw it I was like head over heels in love with it it's just a beautiful beautiful bag and it's probably the only one that I have to mention from Chanel but this were one of the most used bags of last year especially this one I love this green bag so so much so it's the most beautiful shade of green I love it so I'm planning to start putting this once into heavy rotation for the next couple of weeks from Louis Vuitton I have two speedies and one bag that is quite new that I really wanted to share but the speed is more than anything. Both of them are basically mini speedies because they're size 20 and something that I really like about both of them is that the zipper does go a little bit further on the sides. A quick measure break. I find it so funny that every time that she sees that I'm sitting down filming or doing my makeup or anything she just wants to be there. So here we are. I'm gonna keep on with the video. These two speedies are quite similar but they have different aspects. I really really like actually the one that has the dark handles. I think it gives the bag a bit of character and it makes it stand out and look a little bit different so I love the color combination I think I would love the size and I just in general really like it the other one it's a bit more feminine and this one is an imprint leather so I just think that this is an amazing amazing bag I'm really loving the spins that they're giving to the speedy and the color shades are beautiful now this bag is quite new and it's called the Atlantis and I just wanted to mention it because for some reason I just find it really really cute I've always been quite drawn to the reverse monogram bags for some reason. When they released the Pochette Matisse in reverse monogram, I was a fan. The Pochette Matisse was not for me, but this is one of those that I'm like, maybe I would like it because it kind of reminds me of the Picata, so I just wanted to put it here. In case anyone really likes the style of the bag, I've personally never seen it before. I've never seen it in stores, so I think I would like to go and check it out. It looks like a really, really cute bag. I really wanted to follow the theme of pastel bags, so I found this too from Celine. I truly think that this shade of blue is going to be the color of the season like red was the one for fall and winter I think this shade of blue is going to be it for this spring and summer I love this bag I've always really liked it and I also saw this triumph bag in the light pink that I also loved like I said I don't know I am usually not a pink fan but the bags that I've been seeing in pink I've been so so attracted to them for some reason I think if I would see this one in person I would be very tempted and it just doesn't make any sense it's just this shade of pink that I've been seeing on so many bags that I really really like I've been seeing this Loewe bag on social media in the past couple of weeks especially after fashion week and at first I was not a fan until I saw this specific one in this pastel green I really like it I think it can be a very comfortable tote it's a bit different it's not the regular tote that we see out there I love the chain details I think it's the color for me that makes it look Look like very yummy interesting and like a cute tote to wear with a dress or just with a matching shirt and short set adding with the gold details I think this is something that I actually would love to own I'm not saying that I'm literally gonna go for it but I think I'm on the process of maybe going to try it to the store saying if it's comfortable and if I like it enough but I think it's really really beautiful and that it could be very practical and the flamenco bag I've loved for a while now this is a bag that I really really like especially in white but I said that I'm not gonna buy more white Bags. So I've been trying really hard to only show you pastels, pinks, yellows. I'm so in love with yellow. But this one, I think it's a beautiful, versatile, stunning and very well-priced handbag. I have seen this bag in person. I really like the quality of the leather. It's just really cute. I really, really like it. And I also want to talk about Bottega Veneta, but there's also this brown that I found that it's very similar in terms of the styles of bags. And it's called Serapian Milano. I really, really 
really love the mini secret bag in Mosaico. Yes, this one I'm gonna show you in the beige because I just really liked it. But this is a brand that I have not heard a lot about of and I really like their bags. It does remind me a lot of Bottega Veneta because of the way that they work with the leather. And I think this is beautiful and different in case you don't want to go for the regular Bottega Veneta. I do have three Bottega Veneta bags anyway that I do want to share. One of them, I think this one is going to be one of those that I might end up getting eventually. And it's the getaway bag. Kind of reminds me either of a smart portfolio or a lunchbox, but in leather and specifically the brown one, I think it's really beautiful. If you want to go for lighter colors, you do have this beautiful light green option, but the brown one or the fondant color is the one that I really like the most. And I think it's very year round. I do have to say that it's probably the type of bag that I need to see it a few times and think about it because this is something that I just kind of saw fell in love with it so I am in a way saying that I'm gonna go and buy this right now but I'm definitely going to consider it because I love so much right now my mini Jody. and speaking about beautiful yellows the Andiamo tote in the pastel yellow if you don't want to get a Lady Dior and you want to go for something from Bottega Veneta this one it's so beautiful and it has to be stunning in person with the intrechatos it's a very versatile bag because of the strap this one is very summery but I think that this could be a good bag that you can also transition to fall quite easily and this this one is a little bit trickier. I don't know why I like it, but I just kind of do. It's called the Tosca and it kind of reminds me of those beach chairs, but it has to be very interesting to see it in person and I love the gold details that it has. This one I definitely need to go see it in person, but I like it. I think it's really interesting. I really love the color Fresh Mint and it's different. I know that I basically shown a ton of pink, blue, yellow and green bags, but I think right now are like my favorite colors, especially when it comes to spring and I'm definitely gonna try to gravitate towards those handbag colors more and more. I will always go for pastels though. I'm not into really bright neon colors. If I'm gonna go for a bag that is not black, white or brown, it's definitely going to be pastel. So these are basically my picks of browsing for hours online on all the websites. Definitely my favorites are going to be the limited edition Lady Dior's. I love the one with the flowers. Sorry that I was not able to find it on the website, but I'll leave the pictures and maybe if anyone is looking for it, you can ask in your boutique, but I loved it so, so much. It's such a beautiful bag. So this was it for today. I hope that you guys enjoyed the video. If you have any ideas or suggestions of other bags that I didn't mention, let me know in the comments. Would love to know what you guys think about blue being the color for this season. I may be wrong, but it was just the pattern that I kept seeing from every single fashion house. And I kind of hope that it is because I love blue. If you're not to my channel, please consider subscribing and click the notification bell down below so you don't miss any of my videos. And if you're not done watching, I'm gonna leave you two videos right here in case you wanna check them out. Thank you and see you on the next one. Bye.